Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. Starting with the Philadelphia Union. They are 15, 13, and 5 on the season. They will take on New York City Football Club on Sunday. They have 50 points on the season. If the season were to end today, they would be in the knockout round taking on the Columbus Crew. They are behind New York City Football Club for third place to get into the knockout round. Let's hope they get a few more wins under their belt and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. It's the last game of the season, so let's close it out with a W. The Philadelphia Eagles are 3-4 and four on the season. They will take on the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday. They are tied with the Dallas Cowboys for second place. Let's get a win and stay in the NFC East race. The Philadelphia Flyers are 4-4 four and four on the season. They will take on the Boston Bruins on Thursday and the New York Islanders on Saturday. Let's get some wins and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. The Philadelphia 76ers are 2-1 on the season. They will take on the Detroit Pistons on Tuesday, Milwaukee Bucks on Wednesday, and the Charlotte Hornets on Saturday. Let's get some wins under their belt and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. The Temple Owls are 5-3 on the season. They won against the Cincinnati Bearcats 24-17. A real show of performance by the Temple Owls. They are off this week. On November 1st, they will take on Central Florida. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. Let's get another win. The Pennsylvania Quakers are 4-2 on the season. They lost 27-10 against Yale on Saturday. They will take on Brown on Friday. Let's get back in the win column. The Villanova Wildcats are 3-4 on the season. They will take on New Hampshire. Let's get a win and be at 500. Nova, Nova, Nova. We will talk more of the local teams next week. It's time for this week in sports history. Everything that happened in the world of sports during the week of October 22nd. On October 22nd, 1939, NBC becomes the first network to televise a pro football game. The Brooklyn Football Dodgers beat the Philadelphia Eagles 23-14 at Brooklyn's Ebbets Field. On October 23, 1871, Columbia and Sappho U.S. beat Livonia the U.K. in Third America's Cup. On October 24, 1857, the world's first soccer club, Sheffield FC, founded in Yorkshire, England. On October 25, 1621, Governor Bradford, head of the colony of American Plymouth, disallowed sport on Christmas Day. On October 26, 1911, the Philadelphia A's beat the New York Baseball Giants four games to two in the 8th World Series. On October 27, 1985, Anthony Carr begins NFL streak of 100 plus consecutive game receptions. On October 28, 1924, the Chicago White Sox beat the New York Baseball Giants 8 to 4 in Dublin. Less than 20 fans attend. I'll have more sports history fun facts next week. It's time to recap the 2018 Major League Baseball postseason. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox meet in the 2018 Fall Classic. Who will take home the trophy? I say that the Los Angeles Dodgers will win the World Series in five games. Let's take the trophy back to Los Angeles. Go LA! Go LA! We will reveal the World Series winner next week. Now it's time to see how my predictions worked out for week 7 of the National Football League. I went 3-3. Three three. I got the three teams that had wins. Denver, New England, and the Los Angeles Superchargers. It's week 8 of the NFL season. It's time to pick the top 6 NFL games. Who will win the game on Thursday and Sunday? Starting with the Miami Dolphins versus the Houston Texans. The Miami Dolphins lost first place in the AFC East by a score of 32-21 against the Detroit Lions in Miami. For Houston, they had liftoff, defeating the Jacksonville Jaguars 20-7 in Jacksonville. I predict the Houston Texans to win the game and play well on defense. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. What happened to the Philadelphia Eagles? They had a 17-0 lead with 10-41 left in the game and ended up losing 21-17.
They are 3-4 on the season. For Jacksonville, they lost to Houston 20-7. I predict that the Philadelphia Eagles will bounce back and get a W in London. Play good defense, Philly! The Cleveland Browns versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. These two teams ended up in a 21-21 tie in Cleveland. Cleveland lost 26-23 in overtime on a 59-yard field goal. They are 2-4-1 on the season. For Pittsburgh, they had a bye last week. I predict the Cleveland Browns to go into Pittsburgh and sack Ben Roethlisberger in the Steel City. The New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets versus the Chicago Bears. The New York J-E-T-S will a mess, mess, mess against the Minnesota Vikings at MetLife Stadium 37-17. The Chicago Bears lost to the Patriots 38-31 on a Hail Mary that was stopped short at the one-yard line. I predict the Chicago Bears to beat Sam Darnold in the New York Jets in Chicago. Washington, hail to the Redskins versus the New York Football Giants. The Washington Redskins won against the Dallas, how about them Cowboys, 2017 on a missed field goal that hit the upright with three seconds left. The New York Giants are in last place in the NFC East. They are playing on a short week. I predict that the Washington, hail to the Redskins, will go into MetLife Stadium and eke out a W. New Orleans Saints versus the Minnesota Vikings. An NFC Divisional Round rematch. The Vikings won 29-24 in the NFL Divisional Round. Stephon Diggs caught a game-winning touchdown with no time left. For the New Orleans Saints, they won 24-23 in Baltimore on a missed extra point by Justin Tucker. Also, Drew Brees got career touchdown pass number 500. I predict the New Orleans Saints to go into the Twin Cities and get a W. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. Well, that is a wrap. You can also listen to my podcast through my Facebook page at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments rolling and we will talk to you next week.